them. Okay. What have we got? Oh, they're being nice and bringing you gifts today. Oh. I've seen what Satan's done. Yeah. I was going to say, do you think they might be feeling guilty for all the naughtiness, but... But really, ooh, nice. Ah, it's a cable protector for your charger. <laughs> I think we need one of those. <laughs> you want to do the music, Chris? This is easy. Is it? It's a riddle. A magic cat brought this cold inanimate object to life. Ooh. It's easy for you, maybe not for everybody. You excited, Clyde? Right, grab what you need. Headphones, you're grabbing food. You can grab those biscuits and <laughs> maybe not the elf. <laughs> Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three I hope you're all well. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13 and as you can see I am out and about already. It is half past nine in the morning. I am out at Loch Ore Meadows in Fife ready to marshal the Candy Cross race today. Yes this is one of our favourite races of the year because it's so close to Christmas and everybody's in the Christmas mood. A lot of the dogs are dressed up. I don't know if you noticed earlier Clyde had his Christmas jumper on. Um, a lot of the runners are dressed up as well. We've got elves, we've got, um, you might have seen earlier, Karen who runs the Canny Cross. She was dressed as Santa. So yeah, it's lovely to see everybody all dressed up. A couple of years ago when we were here, I had my fly, which is this contraption. My electric scooter um, was done up as a sleigh. Jack had basically cut out bits of wood and made it look like a sleigh. And I was dressed as Mrs. Claus. It was brilliant. But we weren't 100% sure if it was going ahead this year or if we were even going to make it because, if you don't know, Jack hurt his ankle a few weeks ago. Whoa, I can't remember how long ago it was. Sorry, there was a car coming. Yeah, Jack cut his ankle a wee while back, so he normally runs in the races, but he's not able to this year, so he is marshalling instead. I'm um, meant to be doing the long course, I'm sitting here for that, and then I just move further down the road for the short course. However, very exciting, I'm hopefully getting to meet one of my, the friends that I've made through YouTube called Doris today. She lives not too far away from here and it's a place she likes to come with her dog. So hopefully I'm going to meet Doris and Holly today. She's planning to come over and say hello. So that will be fab. I'm not sure if she's going to want to be in the vlog or not, um, but we shall find out. So I think I was planning to meet her after both races are finished. But um, Jack was saying that he might come and do the short course takeover from me so that I can meet her a wee bit earlier because we had a bit of a disaster on our way here today. It, nothing ever goes smoothly, does it? We got about 15 minutes away and the van started making funny noises and um, Jack 
we pulled over and Jack got out and he thinks it's something to do with the exhaust. So we want to get home a wee bit earlier than planned so that it's still light and Jack can actually check to see what it is. Because, sod's law, the van is due its MOT on Wednesday. So it's just like the thing that something goes wrong a few days before it. So we're wanting to get back... Um, Early, as early as possible basically so Jack can have a look at it plus when we were out our walk yesterday Brooke's trainers got absolutely soaked and it's the same trainers that she wears for PE at school she's got PE tomorrow and there's no way they're going to be dry so we want to try and stop somewhere probably just as that to get her a, a cheap pair of trainers that can do her for PE until uh, the end of term and then she's needing new school shoes for going back after ter after the holidays anyway so yeah that's we have to do all that so i definitely want to meet doris i just might not have as much time with her as i'd hoped brooke is going to be sitting in the van with the dogs it was a shame because clyde was getting all excited thinking that he's going to be running today when he sees all the, the runners and the dogs he gets so super excited willa takes it all in a stride she loves the running as well but clyde just gets super excited and he doesn't understand he's not actually getting to run today he'll be stuck in the van with Brooke unfortunately um but yeah that's where we're at just now um I've all organized and I brought the the music quiz with me just in case you didn't catch it when Brooke said it this morning so it's a riddle and it's can you figure out what Christmas song the elves are talking about a magic hat brought this cold inanimate object to life now, if you've got kids, or if you remember being a kid, you'll probably get this one quite easy. If not, it might be tougher. It's more like a sort of kid's Christmas song than a pop music Christmas song, just to give you a bit of a clue. But hopefully you will get it easy enough. I will show you it. There we go. And the elves this morning were being nice, bringing presents. Um, they brought the reindeer cone hot chocolates. We actually picked them up at the Christmas fair yesterday and a packet of elf biscuits as well as their advent gifts. Brooke got a Reese's bar and the cable protector for her phone cable today and trust Satan to ruin it. They had brought a Thornton's chocolate elf but Satan decided to take the head of the chocolate elf and put himself in there instead. So it was a chocolate body and his head. What are we going to do with that elf? We need to get Santa to get him under control. Right, I've been sitting here answering some of your lovely comments and I can hear the dogs really barking now. So I think the race is about to get underway. So I need to stop answering comments now and get ready to do my marshalling duties. I love, love, love it. I will see what footage I can take for you. Hey, we've got Santa coming. Well done, Santa, who needs a sleigh? There must be a nice Christmas smell up there because all the dogs seem to be running off at me. Coming up, just around the bend. Well done! <laughs> Holiday couldn't be here sooner. Holiday Ooh, an elf coming for family inside. and friends. Well and done! We've got Love the costume! Pine cone, evergreen, mistletoe, candy cane, Santa Claus. Well done! A gingerbread woman oh, and a gingerbread man in a gingerbread house, house and all. Christmas is just oh, around the, the corner. Love that big dog. Coming up, just around the bend. Well done. Oh, I love that big dog. Coming up, just around the bend. Well done. Well done. Oh, we've got another elf coming. Well done, Mum. Christmas is just around the corner. Well done, right Santa! Just now, well roasting on the burner. Everybody knows it's well done, Christmas time. Leggings. And we've got oh, frosty gorgeous. Rolls, snow, 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 He's doing okay, he's doing Coming good. Up, oh, we've got a Christmas tree coming up. I love it. Oh, I need my dogs dressed up. Looking brilliant. Love it. Oh. Well done. Oh, love the antlers. And we've got pine tree, pine cone, everything. 
mistletoe, candy canes, Santa Claus. You're welcome, Lucky Kids. A gingerbread woman and a gingerbread man in a gingerbread house and all. Christmas oh, is just around the corner. You're welcome, well done. Coming up, oh. just around the bend. Oh, brilliant. Look, here comes a holiday for a oh, family and friends. Well done. Christmas coming just around the oh, bend. Christmas what? coming just around the bend. Absolutely love the idea. Christmas coming just around the bend. down to the next position for the short course so basically the runners are going to come through that gate towards me and I'm going to direct them down the road that way. That's just a, a couple of minutes away from where I was already. Yes the long course race went very well it was really good turnout there always is at this race it's a fantastic race everybody loves it the atmosphere is just brilliant I mean they're all good but there's just something special about this race I don't know if it's because it's close to Christmas and people get in the mood dressing up and things like that I don't know but yeah it's been brilliant so I'm going to sit here and answer some more comments now I would just like to say thank you so much to everybody for commenting and giving me support a lot of you have been saying that you really appreciate it that you know that it's a lot of work doing vlogmas and you do appreciate it and that means a lot to me because it is a lot of work but I absolutely love doing it especially when I get comments like that so thank you so much for enjoying watching and for you know sticking with us through it i know it's it's hard to watch us every day for <laughs> a whole month but um yeah i really do appreciate it it makes all the hard work worthwhile so i'm just going to reply to some more lovely comments while i wait here either for the short course to start or for jack to come and let me go and meet doris now a quick comment on our uh, the video where the elves had the cold and were snotting everywhere dirty elves a few of you have been worried that it's not just the cold and that it might be the Omicron variant. I just want to let you know that Nicola Sturgeon made sure that the elf isolated as soon as he came to the country and they did a test. So it's definitely not COVID. We're all good. Just wanted to clear that up. <laughs> so I'm in at the little cafe at the visitor centre at Law 4 and I have met Doris. Ah, so exciting. I've not asked her yet if she wants to be in the vlog, but hopefully she will. Um, and I met little Holly as well, our dog, so it's brill, really, really good. Um, I'm glad Jack took over from me for marshalling so that I can get a good wee natter with all this before we have to head off. And I feel really bad because I've not brought my purse or anything with me. It was such a rush this morning. So poor Doris is having to buy me a hot chocolate and she has also very kindly made me a tea loaf because she was talking in the comments about making one the other day and I was like, what's a tea loaf? So she's made me one. How nice is that? And she's given me some orange chocolate as well. So, oh, it's just so nice. I love these thoughtful people. Really, really nice. There she is. There's Doris. Say hi to everybody, Doris. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it is so good that we finally got a chance to meet up and I was just telling them that you've been so nice to me and oh, made me a cake oh, and everything. fantastic getting to meet you at last. Yeah, absolutely. And to buy me a hot chocolate. Oh. I feel so guilty. It should be me treating not you. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> no, it's just good to see you and I'll see the dogs in a week. Later. Yeah, you'll get to see the dogs when Jack's back. Yay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, we're going to head off now so that we can natter. <laughs> Right, so Doris has just met our puppies and she's going to get Holly out to meet them. You're going to be calm, Hugo? Are you? I love Clyde's Christmas jumper. There she is, there's Holly. <laughs> 
What age is Holly now, Doris? She'll be three and a half at Christmas. Is she? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, look at Clyde's stump going. Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I've seen the photos. He's as big as Hugo, so she's used to big dogs. Right. But, uh, they always spend Christmas Day together, so they don't get on. Ah. Uh, I think they just get new one and all. Yes. Oh, Who's that? Hello. Puppies. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, Willa. Hey. You're very quiet, Willa. It's not like you. I know. I can't believe the size of Hugo. I know, he's only six months old still. <laughs> oh, the tail off that she's made us, Jack. Whoa. And an orange arrow, and it's got treat yourself. That was so nice of her. That's Hugo. He's hyper now that he's out of the van. That's his home. We came home via Clyde Bank so that uh, Brooke could go into a Sports Direct with Jack to get shoes. So I'm going to turn you around now and let you see what she got. I've not even seen them yet, so let's have a look together. Oh, they're nice. So she got walking boots so that when they're we go boots. these... What? They're waterproof. Waterproof. So when we go these muddy walks like yesterday, she can wear them rather than ruin and... What has he got? Oh, his ball. Uh, so she can wear them rather than ruin and her trainers. So they were £60 out of 30 That's good. And a size no, 4 now. What? They're on sale. That's what I said, £60 down to £30. Oh, I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, she's a size 4 now. She's officially got the same size feet as me and bigger than her gran. They're nice. They're very similar to the ones you just had. They're lovely. Oh, oh no, you've not got them on. <laughs> yeah, they're really nice. How much were those ones? Uh, Does it say on the box? £28. £28. That's not bad at all. Oh, £33 were, down to £28. Yeah, £33 down to £28. Very good. So do they fit you nice? Excellent. You can take them out the boxes and just put the shoes away. Yeah, so that is that. Um, we were lucky with the weather this morning because it was chilly but dry and it's now tipping it down over here. So yeah, we were really lucky. The other thing that we did on the way home was go to McDonald's because Brooke was starving. Um, so we had McDonald's for dinner. It wasn't just me. Oh, no, it wasn't just you. Um, we had McDonald's for dinner and... I don't know if I said on the vlog or not, but after the concert, when we went to McDonald's uh, the other week, I had an apple pie, and I know I said to Granny Annie, but I don't know if I said on the vlog, uh, on the vlog, on the vlog, that I missed the mince pie and custard ones that we used to do, the mince meat pies, like festive. And guess what they do? Oh, I was so excited when I saw it on the menu. So yeah, it's mince meat and custard that's inside it instead of apple. It's the same pastry as the apple pie. 149 I think it was. So I'm too full after my chicken selects, but I'm gonna have that later on. Yum. When I ate this, I discovered that they had put a normal apple pie in a festive pie box. I was so disappointed. So yes, it's been a very good day today. It was, um, apart from the, the whole van thing, which is worrying and potentially very expensive two weeks before Christmas, but hey-ho, we just need to go with it. Um, having really looked at it, he's not sure it is the exhaust, it might be something to do with the wheel. Oh, these things are such a worry, aren't they? Especially when he's getting the MOT'd in a few days' time. Anyway, we won't worry about that just now. It was so good being at the Candy Cross and seeing everybody dressed up and seeing all the dogs. It was lovely. And of course, getting to meet Doris was amazing. We've been chatting. Um, she's been a viewer of mine pretty much since I started YouTube, way back when I was on Sun and World. So we've been chatting for a good couple of years now and it was really good to get a chance to meet up with her. We could have chatted all day, but unfortunately we had to get home because of the band situation and things. So, um... Hopefully I'll get to meet her again, but yeah, it was so nice. I hope you enjoy getting to see her as well. I know she does comment on a lot of people's vlogs. She's so nice. And of course, we Holly as well. Her dog was very cute. And um, thank you again, Doris, for taking the time to come and meet me and also for making me that lovely tea loaf. I can't wait to try that tomorrow. And for the, the orange arrow as well. Yum, yum. 
Right, I am going to head off now. I'm going to end the vlog here because I don't want to have to edit this in the middle of the night again like I did last night. So if I, I thought if I end it here, then I can get a heads up editing it and it'll go up in time for you tomorrow. Abby's at the football, so she's not opened her advent gift from today yet. She was still in her bed when we left at half six this morning. Um, so I'll get her to open today's and tomorrow's on camera tomorrow and uh, you'll get to see what she got. Right, I'm going to head off now. Remember tomorrow is Movie Madness Monday so we'll be chatting about It's a Wonderful Life and Last Christmas so you can let me know if you manage to watch any of them. Okay, please don't forget to put your answer to the music quiz in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 14. Bye! Ho, ho, ho!